Christchurch was severely affected by uh, an earthquake sequence. Those earthquakes have caused a significant amount of damage. The cathedral is one of those buildings. It's an unreinforced masonry building. So in the earthquake, it's sustained a lot of damage um, and it's become unstable. Well, the cathedral is right in the centre of the city. It's a really important part of the city for many people from Christchurch. A lot of people wanted the, the cathedral to remain and to be reinstated. Uh, and the job is to reinstate that cathedral back to its, sort of its former glory. So what we're doing now is stabilisation, uh, and that is making the building safe. And once we've got it stabilised, we can start the real work of, of reinstatement, strengthening it and then reinstating it. VIP Structural Steel is a Christchurch based company. We have over 100 staff. We design, fabricate and erect commercial projects all over the South Island and some in the North Island as well. Some of the other steel that has also gone in recently is on the aisle walls. From the top of the A-frame sticking above the wall back down along the side of the building, there's a 32 meter continuous wall providing stability to the side walls down the length of the building. This is to brace the building for a horizontal lateral movement. The 32 meter long beam running down the side of the building is actually permanent steel that will be enclosed inside the roof at a later stage. So the crossing is a structure built right in the middle of the cathedral. It's to cut and gain access to the roof trusses and also for crane movements to drop baskets down into the cathedral. The frame behind me is the roof that goes over the top of the crossing structure. So this roof is made out of scaffold framing that gets a wrap over the top of it and also has casters attached to the bottom which allows the roof to slide back and forth as they need access to the top of the building. This structure weighs approximately 25 tonnes. It is 14 metres wide, 28 metres long. And once it has been fully cleared it in, it allows the contractor to open up a big hole in the roof that gives them access into the cathedral from over above. So the app structure is behind the cathedral. It's about 110 tons worth of steel. It's bracing the back of the cathedral. It also braces laterally to the cathedral with link beams and drag beams. So the insulation process will take the course of several nights over the period of two weeks. Uh, just with the traffic management and the bookings with the council, shutting down the tram lines, there's a lot of coordination. So once the apps is fully installed, the oldest steel together weigh approximately 110 tons. The Christchurch Cathedral is an iconic building in the centre of Christchurch. Uh, the reinstatement of that building is, has lots and lots of challenges. Uh, myself and my team, we, we love being part of this project because, because of the challenges um, that we face and we love working with a team together uh, and coming towards the, the common goal of the reinstatement of this cathedral. This is going to be the heart of the city, a place for people of Christchurch where they can congregate in Cathedral Square and the cathedral will be finished back to the way it was with all the history uh, maintained as much as possible. So yeah, that's a great outcome for Christchurch. We want to say thanks to CCRL, Homes Consulting, Naylor Love, Warren and Mahoney and all the team at VIP Steel. Without everyone coming together, I don't think this project could be possible.